Today's video is brought to you by Green Man Gaming. Stick around to learn how you can score some awesome deals on PC games. There's nothing better than lifting off from a spaceport in your very own starship. Sure, you could build one, but that takes time and a whole lot of credits. My name is Kodiak, this is Legacy Gaming, and today we're sharing five awesome and totally free ships you can unlock in Starfield. One of my favorite features in Starfield is the ability to build and customize a spaceship. Not only are ships required for hauling all that loot you pick up, but they're also essential to fend off pirates and with the right tweaking can be set up as a pseudo base for crafting and outfitting yourself and your team. Not every ship is perfect, but there are a good number of free ships you can acquire just by knowing where to look. So let's dive in and expand your armada. I have to start with one of the best early game ships you can get in Starfield, the Razor Leaf. This is awarded at the end of the Mantis quest line. It's easily one of the best ships in the early game with decent all around stats and a small shielded cargo bay to boot, perfect for storing some contraband. To jumpstart this quest, you'll need to keep an eye out for the slate called Secret Outpost. This will automatically start the quest. We actually have a full video breaking down the entire process of clearing the quest claiming the unique legendary armor and unlocking the ship already on the channel. So check that out and don't pass up on this incredible reward. Another ship on our list of freebies is the Wanderwell. Fair warning, this ship isn't great, slightly better than the starting ship, but it's free, which means it's worth picking up. To get this, you'll need to have the kid stuff trait. This is the one where you'll have in-game parents. Throughout your main story progression, you can check in with them to scoop up some decent free loot. In the early game, they'll visit Constellation and your dad will give you a unique weapon, Sir Livingston's pistol. In the mid game, you'll get a note to go see your mom. Head back to the apartment in the tower and after talking to her, you'll receive Grand Grand spacesuit and helmet. Finally, in the late game, Noel will hand you another message from dad that says you need to get home ASAP. Go back to the tower and he'll tell you he won the biggest game of poker of his life. The prize being a new ship, the Wanderwell. This thing is right on theme and pretty much the minivan of space. The best thing going for it are the long grab drive range, perfect for those long trips with the kids, and the multiple weapon racks and cases where you can store all of your guns. Other than that, the ship is pretty lackluster, but hey, it's free and from your parents, so be grateful, you little punk. If you're looking for an absolute stud of a spaceship, then I highly recommend you get yourself the Star Eagle. It's the closest thing you'll find to an X-Wing in Starfield, and it comes with the firepower to boot. Functionally, I think this ship rocks from a combat perspective. It boasts above average stats across the board, an arsenal that can take down pretty much any opposing ships, the ability to hold a lot of crew, and a large cargo capacity. Everything you could possibly want at any point during your progression. My only real gripe with the ship is that on the inside, there's not a lot of function. There's a lot of space for a crew and a cool detention type hab, but outside of that, the ship is largely about its other capabilities. Keep in mind, you can customize these ships once you unlock them, so things can be adjusted. To unlock the Star Eagle, you need to become a fully fledged member of the Free Star Collective Rangers, an elite force within FC space. The quest line itself starts in Aquila City, right outside Gal Bank. You meet the sheriff dealing with the standoff. Manage to get through that quest and you'll be asked to check in with another ranger at the rock, kickstarting the entire Freestar Collective Ranger questline. The chain will take you all over FC space and there is a healthy dose of fighting involved, but the payoff is well worth it. In my opinion, this ship is worth every effort to go and pick up. Check it out guys, today's video was made possible thanks to Green Man Gaming, an official retailer of PC game keys. You know we're constantly giving away free games on our Discord, but you can't always win. And that's when our friends Green Man Gaming steps up to the plate. I know what you're thinking, are they legit? And the answer is absolutely. Just check out their ratings on Trustpilot, 4.6 stars with over 27,000 reviews. I've been buying games from them for years and with a constant stream of new releases, anything I can do to save a few bucks really helps out. We're not talking old games either. The team is constantly pumping out deals for some of the biggest upcoming titles. Right now, if you hop on their website, greenmangaming.com and use the code LEGACY17, you'll save 17% on some of the biggest upcoming games like Lies of P, Mortal Kombat 1, Destiny 2, The Final Shape, and if you haven't done so already, scoop up Starfield. Again, that's LEGACY17 to save 17% on your next purchase. 
The next ship on our list might very well be one of the best free pickups in the game. We're not talking about some dinky freighter or glass cannon fighter, players can actually pick up a Kepler R spaceship if you play your cards right. Pretty far along in your main quest progression, Walter will request to speak to you. This will kickstart a side quest called Over Designed. At this point, track the quest and follow it until you reach your destination and an NPC named Jules. She'll tell you that Stroud Eklund wants to create a new ship, but that the R&D department doesn't agree on the approach. From here, you'll need to make a few key decisions and follow along closely or you'll end up with a lesser ship. The first question is whether or not you want a small budget or larger budget. Obviously, bigger is better, so choose the second option, the higher budget. Once you do that, talk to the R&D team and make sure they understand your decision. The next step is to complete two tasks from the mission board. Make sure to select any destroy quests that are available. Completing these has a higher chance of giving us the end result we're looking for, a Class C ship. Once you complete the quest, return to Jules and she'll tell you the team is still not on the same page. At this point, you have two dialogue options, compromise or team build. Obviously, being the corporate entity that Stroud Eklund is, we select the team building option because nothing is more valuable in the workforce than forced interactions with your fellow colleagues. In all seriousness, choose that option because it's the end of the rainbow and you'll be rewarded for your efforts and smart decision making with a Class C Kepler R spaceship. Now, fair warning, you do need rank four piloting in order to fly any Class C ship, so work on that before doing the quest if you want to pilot it immediately. The base Kepler R can sustain six crew members, hold a staggering 3,550 cargo, has a jump range of 30 light years and a beefy 805 shield and some decent laser and ballistic weapons. It's easily one of the biggest ships in the game and that's before any modifications you might want to make. On the inside, the ship is just as impressive, albeit slightly lacking for a vessel of this size. In terms of interactables, you've got a med bay, which features both a research station and pharmaceutical station. There's also a mess with a convenient cooking station, as well as one large chest you can store some extra gear in. I'll be honest, I was hoping for an armory of sorts, but that's okay, because you can always customize the ship with the shipbuilding system. Even still, it's a damn impressive ship, and it's entirely free. A fair warning, this last ship is tied to the main quest and is a major spoiler. I repeat, major spoiler. So only watch if you want to know what awaits beyond New Game Plus. Once you complete the game and choose to step into New Game Plus, you'll be rewarded with the Starborn Guardian, your very own alien ship tailor-made for a Starborn. This is actually kind of mid, but there are a few really awesome aspects of the Starborn Guardian worth pointing out. For one, it can store a decent amount of cargo. As someone that constantly struggled with storage throughout the entire game, this was a huge sigh of relief after completing the first run through. The ship also features some really interesting combat mechanics. For starters, it's outfit with two types of custom attacks. These deal a decent amount of damage and are unlike anything else in the game. The pilot of the Guardian can also tap into the ship's thruster capabilities, which are on other ships, but don't perform nearly as well as they do on the Guardian. This allows you to quickly rotate or reposition mid-flight, which is perfect for dogfighting. You can, with little to no effort, get behind enemies or get out of range of their lock-on attacks. To add on to that, when you boost with the Guardian, you briefly turn invisible, breaking any missile locks and rapidly propelling through space. The ship also has one final unique feature, a massive grab jump distance, which allows you to really move around the entirety of the settled systems with ease. It's more about convenience than anything else, but having a ship that can jump practically anywhere is really nice. It's a fun ship to noodle around with, but it does have a major downside, the lack of anything exciting on the inside. It's an alien ship, and as such, doesn't have that warm and cozy feeling of something a human would build. You won't find storage chests, weapon racks, or crafting stations because the Guardian was really designed for one thing, traveling to the far reaches of space and blasting enemies into stardust. So there you have it, five free ships you can and should hunt down in Starfield. If this video was helpful and you want more Starfield content in your feeds, do me a solid, hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing. We're on the hunt for 400,000 subscribers and we'd love to have you join our legacy community. You can also join us on Discord if you wanna talk about new and upcoming games, interact with the legacy team and enter daily giveaways for your chance at awesome prizes. That link as always is below. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.